Hi, welcome to The Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. In this video, we are going to install a sub-panel. You will need a main lug panel, breakers, wire, panel bushings, ground bar, screwdriver, linesman's pliers, and self-tapping screws. Your panel can be rated higher than what your sub-panel is going to be. We are just going to install a 60 amp sub-panel, but the panel we got is rated for 125 amps. First, screw in the sub-panel. Remove the knockouts from the sub-panel. Install 6-3 wire from main panel to sub-panel. This wire is rated for 60 amps. One crucial difference between main panels and sub-panels is that the grounds and the neutrals need to be separate. So you need to bring over two hots, a neutral, and a ground conductor. You remove the bonding screw since the grounds and neutrals need to be on a separate bar. Install a new ground bar inside the panel using self-tapping screws. Install the bushing over the main service clamp. Install the ground wire on the ground bar, the neutral wire on the neutral bar, and since this is a sub-panel right next to the main panel, you do not have to have a main breaker panel box. You have a main lug panel box. So install the black and red wires on the main lugs. Install the other circuits into the panel. The grounds on the ground bar, the neutral on the neutral bar, and the hot on the breakers. And then snap the breakers in place. Another difference between a panel and a sub-panel is that we are not going to ground a sub-panel. You only do this at the first means of disconnect, which in this case is your main panel. Hook up the 6-3 wire in the main panel. Remove knockouts from sub-panel cover. Label the panel, turn on the breaker, and test your work. Please like this video and subscribe to our page for a link to 150 more.